Hi, I'm Phil from TurboMoney.com and today we're going to be testing a stage 4 cylinder head on the floor bench. So as usual, grab a brew and let's crack on. So for anyone that's not familiar with the floor bench, I'll just explain what a floor bench is. It's basically a machine that measures airflow through an object. So in our case we're going to test the cylinder head in a minute but you can also put carburetors on it, you can put manifolds on it, exhaust systems on it, air filters, basically anything you can bolt to the top that you can draw air through, uh, you can measure airflow through it and get a reading. So this is the flow bench itself. At the back there we've got a vertical manometer, we've got an incline manometer, then we've got the con controls there, then we've got the test piece which in this case is the cylinder head and that sits on a perspex stand there and then it draws air through the bench there. So on the top of our floor bench we have our test piece which is this, in this case is a cylinder head and the cylinder head sits on top of a stand there on top of the floor bench. This stand actually mimics one of the cylinders in your, in your block so there's a clear perspex tube there so that's mimics the bore size of a 1275, so for the 1275 head and then there's different size adapters with smaller bores or bigger bores depending uh, what engine you're trying to replicate and when the flow bench draws on the cylinder head it draws air in through the port there obviously down past the valves, down the cylinder and then into the machine. We test the cylinder head at different valve lifts so we can uh, graph out a flow curve so you need to be able to open the valve so for that we use this T-bar here which you wind in, winds one of the rockers up which in turn opens the valve over there. Then we have a DTI gauge sat on one of the top caps of the valve if you can see there. So when you wind this in, winds the rocker down and if you watch the DTI gauge it starts to go up. So you wind that round. So I usually test at 50 thou increments, so that was with the valve closed, so I've now wound that round. We've now got 50 thou lift on the inlet valve, and we'd run the flow bench up, get an airflow reading for that, and then we'd wind it round another 50 thou, that would take us to 100 thou, uh, and then we'd do another reading, and so on and so forth, up to the year maximum lift that you want to test up to. So inside the flow bench, there's an orifice plate like this, which is calibrated to give a certain airflow at a certain test pressure, so it has a known airflow at a set test pressure. This is the incline manometer which runs down here. That basically reads off in a percentage scale so you can uh, reference that against your test plate which can then be converted to cubic feet per minute. This is a digital manometer and this is to replicate our vertical liquid manometer but I've used a digital one now instead of a liquid scale uh, and this is used so we can set the test pressure of the flow bench so we can use the same test pressure uh, every time we run a test so the results are always comparable. 28 inches uh, water column inches is basically the industry standard uh, and that's what I always use. So this is the speed control so that can be wound around to increase or decrease the speed of, of the motors in the flow bench uh, until you get to your desired test pressure. So this is an old cylinder head uh, it's cracked so I'll just use it for experimenting on so I can drill holes in it and uh, do whatever I want to it but it's basically a typical kind of stage 4 head, uh, 36 mil inlets and 31 mil exhaust so we're going to run that up today. So we've got the cylinder heads all fastened on and we're ready to go so we're going to run it up now, it does get pretty noisy so health and safety first, stick the air defenders on, off we go.
So we've got a flow measurement in 50 thou increments all the way up to 450 thou valve lift there. You can also test the exhaust, you can put the machine in reverse uh, and swap, obviously swap the rockers onto the exhaust and open the exhaust and get a flow curve for the exhaust as well but I'm just going to do the inlet for today. So I'm going to graph it up now and then we'll have a look at the graph in a minute. Right so we'll have a look at the graph now. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give us a thumbs up uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot.